Yo, what's going on, man? I'm back at it again with another high quality wave video. One any waves to be exact. So, if you're new, go ahead and turn the post notification, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be running game. You feel me on this channel? So, go ahead. If you're looking for that, go ahead, subscribe. Ask me any questions. You can ask me questions down below. You can have me on Snapchat too for that one on one type beat, that one on one personal type questions. You feel me? You can ask me on there. You can feel free. It's gonna be like a private one on one question and answer. But yeah, yeah, as you already know, man, I ain't gonna tuck your head off. I'm just gonna come and spit this game for me in and out. You feel me? So I'm gonna tell y'all what to do. Tell y'all how to get the fast results from your one of these ways. Really, just give y'all the cheat code. Skip the processes. You know, just really get you to the point where you're trying to be, where your your waves are spinning, shining, doing all that good stuff, man. So let's get into it. I'm gonna really give y'all the tips. So the main tips I'm gonna tell you guys. Are going to be interchangeable if you have 180 or 360 ways just want to throw that out there so you don't have to have necessarily 180s you don't have to have necessarily 360s you know it works for everybody so as i go into this really to skip and get fast results man is shower brushing like i always say that um but also too i'm going to tell you guys about like the routine for shower brushing so that way you know i'm not just saying like shower brushing and that's it like just listen off things i'm gonna be like detailed so for shower brushing man when i say shower brushing i really want to get into it of saying it like shower brushing with the conditioner and the shampoo with shampoo first and the conditioner and really what you want to do is get a good brush kind of get when you're first starting out get a brush you really don't really care too much about preferably a medium if you have longer hair that's also very very important on your length of your hair so you want to get a medium brush and then also know the longer you use it like in the shower the more it becomes a soft brush so understand it may not have the best pull after it dries but this is something that you still want to have uh, you can always get another brush remember that um, but yeah just having like a medium brush so that way you can shower brush and that is going to help you get the waves the fastest I feel like that's probably like one of the number one tips I probably should have waited till you guys but really just to make sure I'm not wasting your time just use a really good shower brush um, have something um, if you you can use a soft one if you have that you can use a hard one but it just depends you don't want it too tough in your hair but you want a shower brush man you shower brush with a good medium really get your pattern done and then you know as i said before your uh curl pattern is better when your hair is wet like soaked so remember that get into that really get into that first that's really what i want to tell you guys is just get into that first to skip a lot of the problems that you will have bro remember that if you can just shower brush get into that learn how to do that be consistent on that every time you wash your hair you're gonna be goaded bro you're gonna skip me you're gonna skip a lot of other people you're gonna realize like hey waves aren't even that hard you're gonna you're really gonna tell me that shower brushing is really goaded bro it's really uh a top technique in the wave community um i feel like it's probably not expressed enough but that is really 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 what you want to do so after shower brushing i will also suggest that you guys use hair oils hair oils is a very very important thing because as i said before it gets to the scalp but using that on top of the pomade is going to give you that shine that i have right now um i get asked that a lot too is like to just progress is to make sure you have that shine just use a good oil and then you know shower brushing and then making sure your hair and scalp is conditioned properly very very important that also skips you to um you know not making mistakes and everything like that and get to your pattern the best you can um and then also to i also want to talk about the do-rags the do-rags are important don't want to spend too much time on the do-rags because you know they are important but also it's really about your brush technique and then pretty much how consistent you are on this so um really just make sure you're wearing that every day i always say that but i want to make sure you guys are uh on that just wear your do-rag every day never skip a day uh regardless anything that's going on just just push through it at least even if you don't even brush even if you don't put anything in your hair worst case scenario i'm not saying you do that but if that does happen at least put it on at least wear it like that's one of the main things because if you had that on it's gonna lay your hair down you want your hair lay, that lay down at all times you want those curls to be laying so you have to make sure that you're having that every day do not skip a day it's just 
makes it easier for you and then especially if you're beginning you don't want to make any more problems of what it is so just make sure you have that make sure you get into it and you're going to be gucci on that just make sure you don't skip on that please now after that after you get all like the products and everything the hair oils the shower brushing what you want to do next is make sure that you're getting your hair cut at a right length um wave lift is a really really good time to get your cut like if you have a lot of hair just cutting it down to where you're not cutting your waves off but having a good wave length is important because the wave length kind of determines where your hair is going to be in the next couple weeks so when i say this Remember, you don't want to cut too much of your waves off, but you also don't want to cut too little because your hair can over curl. That is possible. So make sure that you're cutting your hair at a decent wave length for your hair. And I know there are many different hair types out there, you know, for the straight hair, coarse hair and medium hair. I'm going to go in detail on that on the next couple of videos. So stay tuned on that. But make sure your hair is laying down, but making sure that you're getting the right cut. Do not cut too much of your waves off because you won't see them and you have to put all that work in again. You really just want to stack your waves. You really want to just stack the progress in. So make sure that you are doing that. Making sure that you're getting the haircut that you like too, like a drop fade or getting the right fade. But making sure that it's not too high or too low. It's very, very important. Because you know, too hot over curling, your hair is just gonna get super, super duper curly. So, remember that and uh, get into that. And then, also, too, we're gonna talk about the brush techniques. Um, I really wanna get in more into that, too. I know you guys are asking me about the crown and the size and the top and everything like that. Really, what you wanna focus on with the brush techniques when you're first getting started is making sure that you're getting the top. The top is pretty easy, but the size come in next. So, it's top, size, and then back. Uh, those are just normally how like the growth pattern works for just the waves. It can switch up and everything like that depending on your hair type. But really, honestly, is you want to focus on the top. Make sure you have that down, like down packing under control. Then the size, and then how I combat that to make sure I get the right angles is using a curved brush because your angles are very important, even with 180 waves if you want to align everything. And then when you're woofing, the woofing can get crazy, like honestly like the longer you have your hair growing the more work you got to put in but making sure that you're having a curved brush to get your angles from the back side and the top is very very important because you just never know exactly how your hair is going to react depending on how you wear your do-rag you know especially if you may have missed a day and everything like that so make sure you work on your brush techniques this is important as well like uh brushing is also one of the main things so don't forget that make sure you're mirror brushing your mirror make sure you're also shower brushing but being consistent on that because that does play a key into how straight and how many rings of your hair is like how your waves line up so remember that never forget that and then after all that you know you mix everything together you're going to be good on that you're going to be good like you're going to be good trust me don't worry but also making sure you're consistent on each of the techniques is very very important like consistent to the point where it's like yearly and you understand like this is just what it is this is what i want my hair to look so this is what i do to make sure it is on point at every time this is good good information good to know but also know that this is a consistent battle every day is a new day so you have to treat it as if it's a new battle because it is you are going to go run into problems you are going to have days where you don't feel like doing everything and being consistent but understanding that you doing this day by day is going to stack onto your ways to make sure they are as clear they are as defined and moisturized as possible it's very very important so just making sure that you're on top of it daily like don't forget don't get lazy and then um you'll be good on that and then pomades a lot of guys are asking me about pomades like different types of pomades that are out there just use the gold sporting waves if you have the black one use it even though it's not the best you know definitely just use something because that's also a key part into it just using a good pomade to hold your waves that saves in the progress so understand that Make sure you're not putting too much, not too little, a dime size amount. You don't have to put it in every day, but just whenever you need it. And then whenever you lay your hair down. So if you notice in like at night, your hair is like sticking up, make sure you're sticking to your brush sessions consistently because 
just putting more grease in your hair isn't going to help, but just make sure you're sticking to the brush sessions and then laying down your hair good with the pomade. And I would say do that every other day so you don't have to keep washing your hair like a lot. And your hair is being moisturized and all that good stuff. So you don't have to keep, you know, drying your hair out, putting more oils in and everything like that. So just understand, don't use too much. A little goes a long way and the goes for ways last. So, uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. I just want to give you all the quick tips and everything like that just to get you the fast results so you can skip past a lot of the mistakes and you can be on your way to being elite. So. That's the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you and have a good one.